Hi, in this video we're going to show you a couple of ways to extract multiple zip files at once in Windows. So you probably know that Windows has a feature where you could create zip files and also extract them, but when it comes to extracting them you can only do one at a time. Alright, so let's say I highlighted all of them, right click on it, click on Extract All, click on Extract, then you can see it just did the first one and not the others. All right, so we're going to use a couple of free programs to extract all of these zip files at once. So you could try them both out and see which one works best for you. Uh, the first one is called 7-Zip, so that's been around for a while. So it lets you create zip files, extract zip files, and also other types of compressed files like RAR files and TAR files and so on. All right, so once you install it, you could do the same thing. Select them all, right-click. Of course, with Windows 11, you have to go to Show More Options, unless you hold down Shift. Then you have a 7-zip menu here. And now you have three main options. So if you click on Extract Files, you could choose the directory with the default being the same directory that the files are in. And if you click on Extract here, what it will do, it will extract all of these zip files into one location here, into this main root directory here, so everything will be combined. So that's probably not what you want, but that is an option in case you just want to extract everything to the same place. And then finally we have the extract to with the asterisk backslash, and that will extract it to the same location by default. So this will probably be the one you use most often, so we'll click on this. Now you can see it extracted them all here, each with their own folder. All right, so that's 7-Zip. So the other program we're going to use is called Extract Now. So once you install it, you could open it up. And then you could just drag and drop your files into it. So there are several settings here for how it works, such as automatically extract archives. You could change the destination. It'll ask by default or you could have it go to one destination by default and then if you have a duplicate file what kind of action to take on it uh, so this stuff's not super important you could change the file associations to go with the program drag and drop options miscellaneous options and a couple other options here for masks and passwords so if you have password protected files you could use a password list and so on all right, so we're just going to do the basic process here. So we drag the files in here, click on Extract. So now it's asking where you want them to go because that's the default setting. So you can either browse to another location or if you leave this as is, it'll extract them to the same folder like WinZip did. So we'll say OK to all. OK, and now it did the same thing. Pretty simple. All right, so those are your two options, 7-Zip and Extract Now. Both of them are free, so I will put a link for both of them in the description. You could uh, try them both out and see what works for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.